Okay, this should be working now. There should be no problem getting this to work. Let's see if we can find a certain Digimon by the beachside. Yeah, once you start exploring the area, you tend to get the hang of remembering where things are. Let's see. Hey, there's something. Am I human? Upstream is broken, you want to go across? I love the sound effects of this game. The Kowalamon brothers. He's not even walking on their heads. Okay, so what we have so far... Let's see if we can mi find more food elsewhere. Medium recovery. Ugh, I have no choice, I have to give him the giant meat. Sometimes you don't get the luxury of choosing when um, to feed your Digimon, or what foods to give him. Let's see if we can recruit a few more out here in the mangrove region. I forget what Betamon does. I don't know how helpful he'll be right now, but hey. If he can do an item shop or something, that'd be great. Let's see if we can go back to that bridge. Because I know, um, there's a bridge that is in between the tropical jungle and part of the native forest. And we are not ready to start battling these guys yet. They are on a different level. Let's see how much the vending machines... Oh, MP. Nah. And we have ourselves a nice bridge. Completed where we can use to travel to Tropical Jungle at any point in the game. I feel like I just missed something. I don't know because there are certain Digimon that show up at different times of the day. Oh, okay, we have an item shop with Betamon. What can we get? I really want to do some exploring. Let's see what we can find. Because there is a certain place I want to try going to that I haven't reached yet. Oh, 
I'm not talking about the roadside. Ooh. Happy mushroom. Nice. Nice find. And a digi mushroom. You know, I remember the first time I played this game, I had no idea where any of this was. Like, I, I had no idea about any of this. I mean, I thought we would see more places in relation to the digital world that was featured in the Digimon Adventure anime. Drill Tunnel. I don't remember a drill tunnel being featured in the anime. I don't think so. Oh. Must be a guardian of some sort. You know, I'd like to learn that attack. I think it's called Magma Bomb. I'll have a Spitfire and the Claw attack. Oh, that's not gonna get me anywhere. I learned. Did I learn the technique? No, I didn't. Okay, so this is going to take some time in terms of getting used to. Uh, I have a weak Digimon. I mean, Tyranomon is not that strong. Not just because of my stats, but maybe because of my brains as well. Okay, I gotta be trying to be real careful here. I guess one place I want to go to is over here in the underground pond. I want to just go uh, free exploring. I want to go explore the tunnel and see what's going on before I do anything big. Oh boy. I think I might be asking for trouble here. I didn't mean to, like, because the thing is, I'm using a stick to move around, and the game wasn't built for that. Let's see if we can get a technique. A three on one battle. This should be exciting. And forgive me for not talking too much, but uh, the music in this game is really loud. Let's see if we can take one out before we use a special attack. Okay, that's one down. Awesome. Something I'd like to note. The thing is, I don't talk during the middle of a battle because it's very hard for me to be, like, multi-focused. 
I mean, I used to be. Um, but... How do I say this? Uh, I don't want to concentrate too hard, because I have a lot to do in my personal life. Okay, Blaze Blast. Let's see if we can use it. Yes! Awesome. I don't want to stretch myself out. In terms of using my brain. Really? No technique? I guess my brains have to be a bit higher. Of course, I have... What does this do? Boosts happiness, but risky. Okay, awesome. As I was saying earlier, the thing is, this game was never intended to use for an analog stick. It was never intended for an analog stick, and I'm using that to control the character. It, it's okay, it works well. It's just that... I'm, I'm gonna try using the pad, just like I used to. Okay, that's the second Dromojamon we've run into. I want to see if I can find the final one, because there are three of them here. Ugh. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move a little bit slowly. Do I have an autopilot? Because that would be great. No, I don't. Okay. Let's see what's happening in here. The residential area. So the heat has turned him wild. Dromojamon is not a troublemaker, from what I can tell. I mean, he's not really a wild Digimon. It must be this the heat inside the tunnel. I like how the other ones were never a problem. Oof. Okay, I'm not even... Okay, I'm almost halfway there with this helmet. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this should be an easy battle. Attack. Blaze Blast. The trick with using this special technique, it's not pushing the buttons, the shoulder buttons at the same time, it's actually pressing one shoulder button before the other in rapid sequence. Got weird because of the heat. Well, okay, I guess I can go back to the city, since there's nothing else here. Okay, let's be careful where we are. Okay, awesome. I'm just gonna leave. Uh, there's nothing more to find here. And I gotta rest Tyranimon. I mean, my Digimon must be tired from training and fighting battles. That's the thing. It's not just the training. If you fight battles one after another, your Digimon will also become tired in that way. So what you really want to do is make sure that you don't exhaust him as much as possible. Yeah, you heard that right. That you don't exhaust him. Because there is more than one way to get him tired. I'm 
gonna see if I can try to grab more giant meats out of Palmon. After I buy from Betamon. And now that I have a shop, I don't need to rely on, let's say, looking for food. I don't need to go into the native forest every now and then. Now I actually have, um, I actually have a way to give myself more food for less money. Oh, di I made a mistake. Oh, uh, whatever. Let's see, he's probably gonna be tired soon. All I have to do is wait. Okay, one more training sequence, and I hope he does not get tired, because I do not need my blue and pink bars. I do not need my blue bar being negated and turning pink right at the bottom right corner. In terms of his stats, I guess I would like to change brains a little bit. Oh, there it is. is it? Sometimes before your Digimon goes to sleep, you might want to check his other conditions, his other stats. Is he hungry? Is he tired? Is he sleepy? Sometimes more than one shows up. Alright guys, see you next video.